Hey guys, not Blackjack here with a review of Threshold of Reflection Part One. Now, as many of you know, uh, I have a little bug with the uh, enemies, but you can find that on my from. Now, uh, Threshold of Reflection Part One is actually pretty great. Um, you have to get to the finish as fast as possible. Uh, make sure you get everything along the way, um, balance on these things, make sure you don't fall off, otherwise you have to start back at the beginning, and then there are some like, uh, well, what I'll call checkpoint things, uh, but I didn't think there were many checkpoint flags, I forgot, but anyway, this level gets an 8 out of 10 by me, because uh, it has a great level design now. I can look up already, but you can't really see it as well. Uh, once I get on the box, you can. But this is like a sewer kind of place where um, you have to get to the end without falling off. Uh, that's the city. It's so nice made. Um, now, <coughs> I have to say that Best World of Reflection Part 2 was a little bit better than this version because you actually got to roam around free and there were just items you could pick up for just the gems and sometimes uh, some po other points that you can't really see as well but they are there. Um, and really the city design is awesome of this, these levels. Uh, I really have to say Pip1 did a really great job on these. Um, the level is pretty adventurous and I'm just going to skip to a little further than that. Oh. Okay, well here we are at the at the second place you have to come through. Really it's just jumping forward and getting on the ladder. But this is really the exit of the place that I call the sewer. Um, now, this is where it really, it's just awesome. Um, oh, here, once again, you have to climb those uh, ledges. Make sure you don't fall off. On my first try, I didn't fall off. But here you can just jump from one place to the other and then climb the ledge ledges to go forward. Um, really it's an awesome place, once again, a uh, nice design, really cool made. Now, uh, make sure you don't fall off, otherwise you have to start over again, which is really not that fun. Um, well, we're at the uh, exit, where you have to climb a ladder which is just around the corner here. Um, well, once you get up here, you're in the city, which is awesome. I love how we made the buildings and stuff like that. Now, in Threshold of Reflection Part 2, you can actually explore these buildings and see how nice they're made from the inside, but not in this version. Anyway, let me just, well, once you come here, you have to climb the lap, uh, stairs, sorry. And right now you're in the building. This building, you have to climb all the way up to the top to get to the finish flag. 
Now I'm probably not gonna show this all to you because it pretty it takes a a little while, but not that long. Anyway, um, well here's a ladder. You go up there, and you have to find your way up. And there's the fish flag. Ooh. Wow, I almost fell off there. Um, well, anyway, uh, you have to find different ways to climb up all the way to the top of the building, and if you fall off, you have to start all over again. And that is not fun at all. I already did that once. That was, well, no, I fell off to this place. I have to do it all over again. But well, you're up here, and you really have to go to the top. That's all. And then there's a a place where a little well, I can I can show you it. But there's a place where you can find the finish flag. Um. 8 out of 10 for Pip 1 with this level, Threshold of Reflection Part 1.